Hi, Brian from Airflow Music here once again. Welcome back. This is the January 4th edition of Daily Shed 2021. How are we all doing today? Um, not too much to say about this one today. We're really getting into the fun keys. We're really getting into the weeds with these now. I know that probably today's keys, F sharp major and B major, will rank among the least favourite keys for many of you. But all the more reason to practice them and get them under our fingers. Like I say, once we get the sound of going from note to note and get them under our fingers a little bit, nothing really more difficult about these keys than any other. Another argument will sometimes be, but I never need to play in that key. Well, depends what kind of music you play. I have to play things in F-sharp quite often if it's uh, guitarist keys and things like that for pop and rock gigs. But anyway, worth having all of these things under our fingers just so we can play whatever comes up. Okay, so uh, it's been great to see so many of you commenting on the videos and great to see so many people downloading the routine. So I hope you're having fun with it. If there's any questions, anything I've missed, as usual, please ask me and I will try and answer as quickly as I can. Okay, uh, but apart from that, without too much further ado, let's just get into this thing. We're starting out with F sharp major. So we're down nice and low. Now, top tip for this one, um, particularly playing in the low register, you've got to still make sure you get a good breath and engage your breath support, but then you don't want the air that you're moving to move very far. The low register works well if you have a really close breath, really kind of a warm, deep kind of fogging a mirror, fogging a window sort of breath. If you get that going, that kind of movement of air, it'll keep everything nice and close and those low notes should pop out nice and easily. The times that we have trouble with those and we start to chip them is when we overblow them a little in terms of trying to blow too far and too hard on them. It's very soft and very close air for those low notes. So, let's see how I get on with them now I've said that. Here we go.
Okay, so there's the F sharp major. Generally not too bad. Um, I was pretty well warmed up for it. I've been practicing the set up to this point. So, you know, as these keys get deeper into the way the set is notated, the more warmed up I am to play them. There were still a couple of teething problems and a couple of times I had to go back and fix certain keys because I was just getting things out of order. But these are coming around and I feel like the articulations are getting better every day. Still not quite where I want it to be, but the car tongues in particular are getting cleaner now. Getting more solid with those and certainly my chops feel good for the exercise of tonguing a lot as well as the tongue getting smoother and crisper in its own right. And the big thing I notice about the car tongues is that now it's a matter of coordination. It's not that the quality of the syllable is any different particularly, but now it's better lined up with the start of the note. And that's what can make it sound off when you listen back to it. Anyway, that's just an observation. I'm going to keep moving forward. We're going along to B major now. See you at the other side.
Okay, so there's the B major. Now, in this case, I did actually just go straight through with no breaks. Um, that was one direct take from beginning to end. But the sixth mode, the G sharp Aeolian, the arpeggiation, I completely screwed that up. So here's a better version of that because I was determined to go back and fix it. Okay, so there's a better version of that G-sharp Aeolian. Still not 100% where I want it to be, but at least it was better and I didn't foul it up by putting the wrong valves down like I did the first time. Um, it still could be cleaner, still requires some practice. We're also still going slow. This is only 8th notes or quavers at 100 beats a minute. Um, and honestly, this is slower than I usually practice something like this. But, you know, playing things slowly has its own reward, as we've discussed in other videos. So anyway, um, how are you making out with these so far? That's um, eight keys down now, so we've only got a couple more days of these. And the keys get easier from here on. So it uh, should be interesting to see how we get on. Okay? So, as usual, uh, if you've got questions or comments about this video, please comment below. Um, and if you're enjoying it, please hit that like button. It really does help. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It's been great to see so many people liking and subscribing on the last few videos. So that's great. Thank you so much. And in the meantime, I'm going to go practice the rest of these keys. And I'll see you back here tomorrow with the next pair. Okay? So, I'm going to go get on with it. And you probably should too. So you know what that is? Go practice.